Hi everyone and welcome to the As I Amber podcast. I'm Amber and I love to talk about music, travel, society, and pop culture. So as you may or may not know, tonight, which is Sunday, February 5th, 2023, will be the 65th annual Grammy Awards. It will be on CBS at 8 o'clock Eastern Time and it will be hosted by Trevor Noah, who is a comedian and author. So he hosted last year's and the year before that. And I think he's a pretty good host and everything I think flows pretty well. And he has some ha ha funny jokes every now and then. But to the music is what is really important to me. So as you may or may not know, last year in 2022, I've got my certificate from NYU's Tisch School of the Arts. Um, they have a Music Essentials Music Industries program and it's about Billboard and how different people are selected for different things in the recording academy. Also how people are paid nowadays with digital sales. It's really interesting if you love music journalism and how things are marketed. So tonight is the Grammy Awards and I just want to talk about the categories and the performers or speculated performers and artists. So as you know, Beyonce is coming in with the home run. Um, she speculated to win, you know, she is the most tied with Mr. Quincy Jones for having the second most Grammy wins in history. She has 28 Grammys. So if she wins some more tonight, she'll be in the record books. Um, I think it's really cool how a lot of promo is around Beyonce. She knows how to market because we are trying to get those tickets for Renaissance World Tour. So yeah, but in other news, um, the category that she is in is interesting because I felt as if the Renaissance album is genre bending, meaning it could be electronic, it could be pop, dance, it could be R&B. Some songs on there could be techno, disco, like it can fit in every category almost. So for record of the year, we have the nominees are Lizzo for About Damn Time, Adele for 30, Beyonce for Break My Soul for record of the year, uh, Kendrick Lamar for The Heart Part 5, Mary J. Blige for Good Morning Gorgeous, Steve Lacey for Bad Habit, or the song I Wish I Knew You Wanted Me, um, Harry Styles as it was. So all these artists are in this one category and I gotta go with Break My Soul by Beyonce or Bad Habit by Steve Lacey. I love Adele, I love Lizzo, I love these other artists, but if you look at social media and if you look at sales and when these artists um, came out with these songs because there is a time frame that you have to release a song in order to be considered or nominated for a Grammy. So Beyonce's Break My Soul was everywhere this summer and Steve Lacey's Bad Habit, I Wish I Knew You Wanted Me, that's been on social media everywhere. It's genre bending. I've seen white, black, Puerto Rican in between everybody dance to that song or put it on their social media background. So I could be wrong, but I really think Beyonce may win this. If she doesn't win it, it's going to go to Steve Lacey for Bad Habit or Adele for 30. Um, I thought Adele's album was just okay though. It was some good songs on there, but compared to the other artists in the same category, I'm just not sure. After that, we have Album of the Year. So those artists are Bad Bunny for Un Verano Senti. I hope I'm saying that right. Adele for 30, Beyonce for Renaissance, Kendrick Lamar for Miss Morale and the Big Steppers, Mary J. Blige for Good Morning Gorgeous. I think album of the year got to go to Beyonce. I'm sorry. Even if I was not in the Beehive or Bias, I think this album is just different from her other albums. Every song on there was a, a bopper. Like, you didn't have to worry about... Oh, this album only got one good song on it. I really, personally, I like different genres of music. I respected her artistry and different people on the album. With the background writing, what The Dream, um, Nigel Rogers, Raphael Sadiq, a lot of people were behind the scenes with this album, and I really think it should win Album of the Year. For Best New Artist, I wanted to go to Money Long for hours and hours because that song was everywhere. Lotto is in this category. I don't consider her a new artist, but... Um, some people consider her a new artist because this is her first like mainstream album. So I don't know the qualifications and everything about that. I have to get back with you on that. But I do think Money Long should went for hours and hours because that was all over radio. Even my mom and dad know that song. Um, the solo pop performance, I think it should go to pop is an interesting category because it's like 
what is considered pop nowadays. Some stuff sounds like R&B to me, some stuff sounds pop, but we have in this category Doja Cat for Woman, Easy On Me Adele, About Time Lizzo, Bad Habit Steve Lacey. So I think it could go to, or, and we also have Moscow Mule by Bad Bunny. Now Bad Bunny is super popular overseas, Latino, like he speaks in Spanish and sings in Spanish. I think that uh, Bad Bunny, Doja, or Steve Lacey might win for best solo pop performance. For best R&B, I wanted to go Chris, to Chris Brown for Breezy. Um, and I think it could also go to PJ Morton for Watch the Sun. If we are strictly focusing on the music and not their personal lives or anything like that, it could go to Chris Brown or PJ Morton. I'm a fan of both. Uh, for traditional R&B, we have Snow Allegra for Do For Love, Keeps On Falling, Ella May, Plastic Off The Sofa, Beyonce, Around Midnight, Adam Blackstone, and Jasmine Sullivan. Now, I don't know what they mean by traditional R&B, but Do For Love is, you know, one of the songs by Bobby Codwell. But Snow Allegra, she did her own cover of it, and it's been on social media everywhere so she might could win because it's popular on tiktok and reels on instagram but then we got babyface the og r&b songwriter and ella may on keeps on falling so that they might win that too also we have plastic off the sofa by beyonce i think the only people that really know the song are people who are fans of beyonce or actually listen to the whole album because if you don't listen to beyonce you might only think break my soul and cuff it because that was all over radio but um, I could be wrong. This is a kind of wild card category. Then we have best R&B. And for best R&B, that's Cuff It. And in that same category, we got hours and hours. So if Money Long beats Beyonce, ooh wee, that's going to be real interesting. Because I do think those songs were popular. Whether it was the Cuff It Challenge, where it was the hours and hours on R&B adults radio. Um, for progressive R&B, there's going to be Moonchild um, for their album Starfruit and Tank and the Bangas for Red Balloon. I love both of those groups. I, I really want Tank and the Bangas to win, but Starfruit by Moonchild, that was a pretty good album. And they had Layla Hathaway on that too. So it should be interesting. For best melodic rap, I wanted to go to Future Tims and Drake for Wait For You. Um, I thought it was a really cool like genre gumbo of artists on this one song. We got Tims representing the motherland. We got Future and Drake for the US. So I think all of them on that one song was pretty cool. For best rap, we got Future pushing P featuring Gunna. F and F. Let's go, Glorilla, uh, Kendrick Lamar, The Heart Part 5. I think it should go to either Future or Kendrick Lamar. Their um, influence on rap and hip hop and black culture is uh, really high. And I think that more people will listen to Push and P than The Heart Part 5. But I do think that Kendrick, another song on his album was with Kodak Black. And I think that song should have been nominated for something because that was on radio more so. Um, overall, the Grammys is always really interesting. It makes you appreciative uh, and see why other award shows exist because some of the best artists may never win a Grammy or be nominated for a Grammy. Does that mean they're not worthy? No. But based off these man-made qualifications about what's R&B, what's hip hop, what's this, what's that, this is what we got. And so I'm excited to see who wins tonight. And I'm also excited to see if Beyonce or other artists perform. Um, this is like the first Grammys where it's after COVID and the pandemic. And can pandemic is not over with, but I think it's like more people will be in the audience this year. So um, yeah, let me know your thoughts on the 65th annual Grammy Awards. These are just my predictions. And we'll see who wins. Follow me at As I Amber on Twitter, Instagram, and let me know your thoughts. Are you going to watch the Grammys tonight on CBS? Let me know. Okay, bye.